I moved here from Colorado and I always wanted to work with marine mammals. Once I finished school, um, they hired me on full-time as the events and public relations coordinator. Our staff is um, 16 full-time and then we are, we have over 220 volunteers. We have volunteers that come in at night to help with night feedings or come in extra early to help with morning feedings. A lot of our focus is on education because a lot of people just don't know all the issues that these animals face and in turn, you know, will affect us as well. A big thing we say here is no one is too small to make a difference. We educate over 10,000 kids a year in a variety of our education programs. Last year we had 86 animals in-house at one time. I think we do fantastic with what we have, but there is definite plans to expand and we're hoping to break ground later this year. And I've been there for about three years now. Um, and the day in the life of an animal care volunteer at PMMC consists of a lot of cleaning and a lot of meal prep, so weighing out the fish for the patients, um, as well as monitoring the patients, making sure they are learning how to eat properly, um, and then occasionally rescues and releases as well. But it's super rewarding when you get to kind of see them come in in this condition and then you get to be part of, you know, fattening them up and making them healthy again, and you watch them grow and get um, really energetic, and then you get to watch them get released back into the ocean. So it's, it's really rewarding. I honestly love all of it, like every day. It's still nice to have support through social media and see um, all the people watching the patients get better and get released. <laughs> Just kind of watching them grow, um, I really I really enjoy releases as well. That's, I mean, that's a highlight for any volunteer. <laughs>which uh, our responsibilities as a docent is one uh, day a week. We have a shift where we are in the yard. We're free and open to the public. We have amazing education program at the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. There are different jobs that you can do. You can volunteer for animal care or you can volunteer for education or you can help out in our gift shop. You'll get to see our recovering patients. And it's one thing like talking about it, but then to see it and to be there and to smell it and to, you know, experience it and make it real for people. As a volunteer, my favorite release was my very first release because it was the first time where I got to be full circle because I was there for her rescue and I watched her rehab and then I got to release her. I think one of my first releases, I cried because I was so excited that I got to be a part of that animal's survival, and it was an elephant seal. There's always something that keeps you coming back. It's just an emotional thing, so the connections that we make with the Marine Center and the work that we do as volunteers, that's why there's volunteers that are there for five plus years, 15 years, 20 years. And there's been rescues on jetties and on buoys and on beaches, and they're all different, and they're wild animals, so they don't all act like they're supposed to. <laughs> when we get them home, there's a whole intake procedure to make sure the animal gets exactly what they need right away. Add COVID, add COVID-19 to it. Um, and you have, again, these families, the people of PMMC and these teams that are working together, really mobilizing in uncomfortable situations. So it's a lot of work and you have a mask on. And when we had our visitor's yard open, you can donate money towards fish for the animals that you're watching in the yard. Being able to volunteer is a gift. And so if you do have time to volunteer, do it. Like not specific to the Marine Center, just find a spot and volunteer because it's more rewarding than you will ever realize.